Have you ever been on a detox diet to get rid of some toxins in your body that you think is affecting your mental health, your physical health, even your desire levels? What if I told you that your body is the most amazing detoxing mechanism on the planet? In today's podcast, we're talking about detoxing the mind and body for better sexual health. Hi, I'm Dr. Neelima Deshpande and this is V for Vagina, the podcast that dispels myths and misunderstandings about the vagina and empowers women to embrace their sexual energy, vitality and well-being. It was December 2009 and as I stepped out of the bed, I nearly fell over. My big toe hurt so badly and it was swollen. I could barely crawl my way downstairs to the kitchen. Later that morning, when my friend visited, I couldn't even shake hands with him. My body was complaining. Have you ever noticed, when you have a really bad headache, that you're grumpy as well? Or if you hurt yourself, maybe you've hurt your elbow or a knee with running or playing sports. You're just generally uncomfortable. Or maybe you've got a bad cold or a cough. How sexy do you feel when you're sick? When you're in pain, in discomfort, when your body aches? Your mind doesn't play along. The last thing you want to do is go and have sex. Desire and lovemaking is one of the last things on your mind. You probably want intimacy. You want some stroking and caring and cuddling, but not sex. Having great sex needs you to be pretty mobile, active, flexible dynamic, quick of thought, responsive. All these words describe somebody who has a body that functions in line with how they think, is uplifted, energized, vital, not a body struggling with toxicity. Why is it so important to understand this? Well, you only have to look at media, whether it's television or newspaper or something you see on social media, teaching you how to detox. Coffee enemas, water fasts, 7-day fasts, 21-day fasts, going on a scrub, visiting a massage centre, going for mud baths, vomiting, purging. My God, all the different ways that human beings have adopted, all in an attempt to remove toxicity. When the most magical organ to deal with toxins, is the human body. But how does the body deal with toxins? And where do these toxins come from? Funnily, toxins enter our body through our environment, through the food we eat, and even our thoughts. We've talked about the five Ps before. Pollutants, pesticides, petrochemicals, personal care products, preservatives, even things like perfumes stuff we use to clean our house, dishwash liquid, detergents. In today's day, the food we eat probably contains the highest level of toxins ever in human history. And plastics, they've contaminated every area of our homes. Even the clothes we wear have some element of plastic in them. Every day you hear some sort of news report that tells you there's microplastic in the bottles of water you drink, in the fish you eat, and the birds, they're filled with rubbish because they can't find food. So which organs does the body use to detox? Well, your defences are all over your body. Your skin is the first line defence. It protects your internal organs. It's the largest organ of the body. It also absorbs stuff you put on it. So all these personal care products, these creams and lotions, the baths that you submerge in, Your skin absorbs that stuff. The fumes you inhale, the pollution, your lungs. What about the food you eat? The organs like your liver, your spleen, the gut. This is what's handling all the toxins. Where do these toxins go? Well, your body is very clever. A lot of it gets sequestered in the liver, the spleen. Some of it gets carried away by the blood. 
and then excreted through your breath, through the urine and through the stools, and sweat. And when your body can't deal with the excess of toxins coming there, it puts it away to deal with later. And where does it put it away? In your fat. Remember, a lot of these toxins we're looking at are fat-soluble. Some toxins get trapped in your hair and skin. Digestion is incredibly stressful. You can imagine that, and it's more stressful nowadays because of what we're eating. And that may be one reason why fasting works so well for so many people. You just, just stop putting the toxins in, and your body can take a break and actually deal with the stuff that's left over from before. Many times people find that when they start nourishing their body properly, actually giving the cells in their body the nutrition it needs, your body goes into an overdrive to start detoxification processes. So instead of feeling good, you might actually end up getting a cough or a cold, like I did. When I started nourishing myself, I got the most awful headaches. My nose was bunged up and my skin got breakouts. When you don't feel good, the last thing you want to do is think about sex. Why is this? Well, in evolution, remember, sex and reproduction happened when your body was at ease, where there were no threats. There's no starvation, there's no wild animals trying to kill you, and no other human beings want to get rid of you. And when there's peace and happiness and well-being and abundance is when your body most wants to reproduce. Because it knows that if you have kids, if you're a woman, if you have kids, they're going to be looked after. They're going to survive. We know from research all over the world, when there's stressful conditions, reproduction rates decline. And you know this. When you're stressed out, anxious, worried, angry, the last thing you want to do is have sex. Stress even affects fertility rates. Nature doesn't want you to be having a baby in arms if you're going to starve or you're going to get killed. How difficult is it for you to run away from an animal or a predator if you've got a baby in arms? Really difficult. More likely, both of you are going to get killed. So being stressed out is not a good recipe for great sex. Turns out, being stressed out because of toxins is just the same as being stressed out because of a bad work environment or a boss that's telling you off all the time. As you start to detox, and what does that even mean? It means your body's ability to deal with the toxins that have already entered the body. When it's fully nourished and it starts to detox, it's going to release stuff. Release stuff from the fat, from the different areas of skin and hair and nails, as it starts to make new ones to get rid of the old. And did you know why the body keeps toxins in fat? Its primary job is survival. So it wants to protect the most important organs in your body, like your heart and your brain and your kidneys and your liver. And when it starts detoxing, you might find that your brain gets all jumbled up. You get your brain fog back, negative thoughts, looping, depression, tearfulness. You might find temporarily that your skin starts to break out, hair starts to fall, your nails become a little bit more brittle, until the new ones come. You might find that the toxins disturb your sleep. You wake up to pee more often. Or you have funny dreams. It's all part of the detox process. You just have to keep going and nourishing your body. You can do a lot to support this detoxification. And remember that while you're detoxing, what you might need is intimacy and cuddling and support and stroking to feel loved and cared for and safe. And as you get your basics right and you get back into your body and stop dissociating because you know what's happening, get back to deep breathing, slow breathing, taking time to rest, meditate, sleep on time. Move your body in gentle ways. Re-establish your circadian rhythm day and night, waking and sleeping, nourishing, wholesome, Full meals, no scrimping. And then maybe when you're fully nourished, then fasting. But most important, restoring emotional safety and security. As your brain detoxes and as your body releases all of this through the breath, through urine, through stools, through sweat, 
your brain and your body can settle. And it restores your vitality, your energy, just like it did for me, within a week of restoring nutrition. And remember, I'd been on endless kinds of detoxing processes before. I've tried it all. It doesn't work. But nourishing your body, moving it correctly, getting back into your body, resting, meditating, does work. It's a recipe, not a shopping list. And of course, learning to enjoy this process. How does it feel when I say you've got to work at detoxing? It's horrible. Who wants to go to work? I say, let's play. Let's have fun. See what this magical body can do when you give it everything it needs to deal with all these toxins. This childlike curiosity will allow the magic of your body to unfold. As that same change in attitude that makes sexual health, sexual well-being, closeness, intimacy so rewarding So fascinating. So the next time you think you need to be on a detox, think about nourishing your body in a different way. Think about closeness, safety, security, and stroking. And you might just find that when your body is alive, flexible, mobile, energized, and vital, you automatically start to feel sexy again. Remember, to like, subscribe and share this podcast with whoever you think needs to hear it. If you'd like to talk to me one-on-one for a personal consultation, get in touch with me via my website www.drnilima.com and you'll find a button there where you can click and book a slot with me. And I'll be sure to respond to any of your queries. Thank you. Disclaimer. This podcast is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's or listener's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment.